What's up guys and welcome to another Build It Break It Garage episode. In today's episode, I'm going to start working on this turbo kit that we worked on a couple videos back. Basically, I'm thinking, debating about putting it on Midori. Uh, but if that's the case, then it has to look a lot prettier than it does right now. Like, all these welds need to get ground down and make them look all nice and pretty and smooth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the downpipe. We're going to see what it takes to make that actually look like one solid piece instead of uh, multiple sections. Yeah, enjoy this time lapse. bit of grinding is done came out pretty good doesn't look too bad but uh, I'm still getting a lot of stripes and things that I want to have filled in I want to have it look like one solid piece when it's all all done so I'm gonna take the welder fill in those cracks crevices and then grind it back down and see how smooth we can actually get this Okay guys, well, uh, that almost turned into a nightmare. Uh, it's a lot more difficult to weld and grind and weld and grind because you're taking off material as you go do that. And uh, so in the joints I was taking off a little too much material and then I went to go fill a gap and I blow through. And uh, so I had to chase quite a few bit of holes, but uh, I got as good as I think I'm gonna be able to get it without making too much more of a headache. This is now what the downpipe looks like. This will get covered by the heat shield, like so. So all you really see is this part of the pipe. And I was able to get that super nice. And now it all looks like one piece instead of multiple joints. So next up, I'm gonna take the manifold off and actually try to clean up the U-bend on that. So that should be um, pretty much a simple task, uh, but I'm gonna try to keep in mind of the problems I have with the downpipe, so. Fingers crossed, I don't have any more problems. Alright guys, well, I got the downpipe and the manifold all ground down. Uh, so they're now ready for heat wrap. I know why I do all that work, because I was just going to heat wrap it anyway, but uh, I wanted it to be nice and smooth, so when the heat wrap goes on, it looks really good. Here's the finished product. So, I ground all the weld out of here, made everything nice and smooth. Uh, downpipe obviously looks like one nice, one big piece. I'm gonna throw this on the motor really quick and uh, show you guys what it looks like now. Well, I got everything back on the motor and it looks really good actually. It, the, uh, I even got the wastegate uh, positioned how I want it now. So this is the finished, well, mainly finished product. It still needs to be heat wrapped and this obviously needs to get repainted from the accident. Check out the wastegate. Look how tight. There's, I mean, it's literally like right there, touching almost. Like I even had to bang it out just to get the bolt on and everything. But uh, yeah, the downpipe looks all nice and smooth. It's gonna, you'll be able to see it like this. Like that should be how basically it looks in the engine compartment. Yeah, I'm really pleased with this. Uh, it came out a lot better than I was uh, expecting it to, to the point where I'm actually gonna be throwing it on the car now. I just need to order a bunch of parts and get, I'm gonna be custom making my own intercooler piping out of steel. I'm not gonna be using the aluminum. I don't want a lot of couplers. So I'm gonna be welding all my intercooler pipes together. I gotta order some oil feed lines, oil drain lines, and uh, basically just get the things that I need fixed. And then we're gonna make a video about turbo in the Midori green car. So look forward to that. Uh, other than that, uh, you guys have a great day. Thank you for watching. Also give us a like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll be seeing you later. Peace.